All right, welcome dragons. We're on the roof of the dragon wagon and I'm gonna go through the steps for attaching these solar panels or any solar panels that you might have to your roof as well. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys how we mounted our solar panels to the roof. And we ended up going with a mounting system that doesn't involve drilling any holes into the roof. It just uses VHB tape and what's called a turn bond tape. So we have a total of eight mounts on each solar panel. They're larger than your standard panels that would go on top of a vehicle. They're for residential applications typically, but that just means that they're larger and they're a different voltage, um, but you can still use them. We got them for a really good price, about half the price of what they usually are. And so that's what we went with. So yeah, we've got eight mounting feet on each panel. And these are actually the Renogy uh, mounting plates that they sell. And they just recommend to use uh, double amount of them for their larger panels. And so what we did was we used uh, VHB tape, VHB primer to increase the adhesion strength and a turnip on tape. And that's all after uh, like literally a perfect surface prep. So in order to prep these, we sanded down every area where the foot was gonna come into contact. We did a mock setup. We had all the panels laid out where they were gonna go. We masking taped off where all the feet were gonna be. And then we started to do all the surface prep. So we used like a 200 grit uh, sandpaper block. And you, like they recommend, I think, a circular motion for ideal like micro abrasions, which increases the adhesion properties of VHB. So you do the uh, abrasions on each of the mounting surfaces. Then you want to wipe it clean with an alcohol solution and a paper towel. We like using the automotive paper towels. They're just like um, like a denser weave and they don't rip apart very easily. So once you abrade the surface and you clean it with alcohol and your paper towel or your towel or whatever you're using, your cloth, uh, you're going to let that dry obviously and then it's time to apply the VHB primer. And you can do one or two or maybe more coats. It just turns into like this very tacky substance um, which you can then apply the VHB directly on top of. And so once we were ready to actually mount the panels, we would flip one of them over on top of the other ones, uh, peel off the VHB tape uh, protective cover, and then flip them back over and place them. And then we would finish them off by using what's called a turnabon tape. That's this white tape here. And this is just for added levels of protection. Um, it's very strong and it's very resistant to UV and weather conditions. So this is a really great way to reinforce your VHB solar panel mounting. Also make sure that you mind the cables when you're placing your panel so that you are able to access them once the panels are down. They can be very challenging uh, to get out from underneath if you haven't had them already sticking out when you go to place your panels. It's also important to note that we used red Loctite, like the strongest Loctite you can get your hands on. You wanna go ahead and use that for the bolts that these brackets come with or whichever brackets you end up going with. Make sure you use Loctite uh, to ensure that they're never gonna rattle loose from all the vibration that's going on when you're driving. Now, while we did get our panels mounted perfectly, it was not on the first try. And I think it's really important to share the progression and that things don't always go as planned. So we had initially planned to use these plastic brackets and we assumed our roof was very flat based on the shape. But once we got up there, we realized that the brackets were not touching the roof uh, as much as they needed to. And so we basically had to rip all of them off and put on the new brackets. And so we finally did get it right, but it took three tries. Third try is a charm as they say, but again, this is just a reminder to let you guys know that things don't always go as planned. Don't be discouraged. The solution will be provided as long as you keep trying your best. All right, I hope this video was of value to you and that it helps you with mounting your solar panels. Have a beautiful day.